Holy caca. That is a huge <laughs> caterpillar. Massive. Absolutely mammoth. Wow. When you got nothing better to do, it's time to get hanging with the hers. Oh, oh, oh. Our babies. All our kids. Oh. I guess there must be a bug or something that has flown in. Have got the girls pretty interested. What you got there, Nari? Let me see, I want to see too. What you got? Hey guys. Okay, I'm in the bedroom. I'm not 100% happy right now. So, I don't know if you know, but two of our kids are fixed. Aini and Winston have been fixed. Nari and Esme have not yet been fixed and we're actually going to be going to a free clinic tomorrow to find out what we can do to get that rectified ASAP. Uh, they're inside cats, they, they've never been outside so you know risk of pregnancy is not an issue but of course for health reasons and everything else it's good to get them fixed. Well one of the issues that we have with Esme and Nari, which we didn't have with any of our other cats we've ever had before they were fixed, is that they decide that they're going to pee on the bed when they're horny. And for whatever reason, we just don't know why they won't go into the cat litter box. We keep it clean, um, but for whatever reason, when they're in their heat, they will sometimes pee on the bed. And Nari has been seemingly in a perpetual heat for the past two months. So we don't even know if we can get her fixed right now because usually they don't like um, to fix them when they're in heat for whatever reason. I just don't understand why. If you're a vet or you know about this, please comment below and let us know why. So, but they, she's been really good and she hasn't been on the bed this whole time and we haven't had to put a tarp on it or anything else. But tonight, well, the other night she peed on the carpet and she pooped on the carpet although I kind of think the pooping was a bit of an accident I don't know but you saw that video where I had it on my foot it was just it was a horror movie for me and anyway last night she pooped on the bottom step uh, which was kind of a blessing because we've got a plastic overlay on that so I got to I was able to clean that up no problem but tonight she decided that she was going to poop on daddy's bed I've cleaned it up so you can't see the patch, but it was right here, right here. So Ben has been doing laundry tonight, or bedding that was folded up, which is my bedding, thank goodness none of that was touched, but um, he's doing laundry to get this taken care of. Not happy campers at all. So as you already know, one of the girls had an accident. Don't know if it was on purpose or not. But being in heat, who knows? Maybe we can, maybe we can't blame her. But anyways, gotta pick up the laundry. It should be done drying now. Machine's off anyways. But anyways, it's uh, not been fun. So we gotta see what we can do to get her fixed ASAP. Yeah, anyway. Maybe it's the full moon. But yeah, let's go ahead and check her out. Yeah, it looks to be done. It feels like it's done. Let you ride on the washing machine. up and we're ready to go. 
don't know what more we're going to vlog about tonight, but vlog, I should say. But anyways, oh, a little cork board here. You ever heard of Chilines? They were on Bar Rescue last season. Yeah, they're actually pretty close to here. What else is there? If you got a uh, Norco refrigerator from model number such and such to such and such, it's been recalled. Recall, oh, that's part of the same notice. Harvest Moon. Dinner and Dance. Handsome Quilt will be raffled off. Rockorama, I wonder what the Gemin Mineral Show. Interesting. And then you got brochures and all sorts of fun stuff. The change machine. You got an ironing board and an iron. You got books and Reader's Digest and a lot of old fart reading. You got a stereo up here, TV over here. You got dryers. You got washing machines. You got a sink over here in the corner. Yep, that's it. Anyways, I'm going home now. So hopefully we can get them both fixed. I'm a little bit concerned as a mom. I'm always worried about things, you know, operations, surgeries, these sorts of things. They worry me. And the after effect. I guess I'm. I get a little bit worried with my dad. Um, growing up, he had quite a lot of surgeries. Uh, open heart surgeries and really big surgeries. Uh, he had lung cancer and he had that removed. He had throat cancer. Imagine he had that and he never smoked a day in his life. But um, so when it comes to surgeries, I always get really worried. And then there's the after situation when they're healing and having to deal with them and I can feel their pain and there's nothing I can do for them other than just give them the meds that they give to us, which doesn't really do too much. It's only They only give them like for three days and then then they have to deal with it and getting both of them done at the same time is going to be difficult especially in the RV where we don't have a room cordoned off for them so that Winston can leave them alone and that they can just be quiet and peaceful and just recoup so I do have some grave fears about all of that but you know it's got to get done and talking about operations Uh, I don't know if you know him, Charles Trippy, uh, CT, CTFXC. Um, if you don't know them, go check out their channel. He and his wife Ali, um, they're great vloggers. They have a great vlog. Well, Charles had a brain tumor. They discovered it last year in March, and he had brain surgery, and they removed the tumor, and because um, he was having seizures and such, and they thought they got it all, but apparently there was still a little bit left, and so he had to have brain surgery again this morning, and they got it. Uh, apparently they got it all. Um, he's doing really well, and hopefully praying that it's going to be it, but it's just been one of those days where like I don't know these people they're not my friends they don't even know who that I exist but I I just I feel I feel it and you know you follow them on YouTube and you know we, we're a community even though we might not know each other we are a community and it just when you're in someone's lives every single day you do feel that that connection to people so been praying for him all day and a little bit you know concerned and then I got the good news I haven't been online all day because I've been doing a lot of editing and stuff for um, for the vlog and so the good news was that he came through the surgery okay and he's out of surgery now he was actually awake for the whole thing and he was allowed to vlog the surgery so that is going to be so cool to be able to see it so if for no other reason go over and check it check out their page and um, I'll put the link I'll put a link right there for you so you guys can, can click on it and go check them out. And if you're not subscribed to him, please subscribe. They are so close to a million. I don't know if they've reached a million now or not, but they are so close. Please subscribe to them and let's rally together and help him to get to a million subscribers on his channel. And help us to get to 50. We're close to 50. I really want 50. Everyone's talking about getting a million subscribers. Heck, I only want 50. <laughs> and then I want 100. But hey, let's start off with 50 first. So 
if you're new to this channel do subscribe to us too but anyway so that's sort of that's kind of how things have gone today I haven't had much time chance to do much of any vlogging um, like I said I've been editing all day I'm I'm really slow at editing Ben's kind of really fast at it but I'm slow and I'm really picky and meticulous and you know putting things where exactly where I want them and stuff so so it takes me quite a while to edit oh did it go oh no there it is I don't know if you can see from here because it's kind of dark and he blends in but there is a lizard a little bitty lizard right there I don't know if you can see it in the screen or not okay wait I did I lose him he's kind of next to the dead agave branch do you see him guys I don't know if I can get close if he will stay or if he will run. You see him? Hello? Hello little lizard? Just a little bit of the wildlife that we have out here in the desert. Ben tried to catch one, well not catch one, but capture one on the film uh, the other day for his channel when he had a little bit of a walk around and uh, it was too fast he couldn't get it and this guy just stopped he went for scuttling and then he stopped I was like hey got the guy get the camera out so that's pretty cool so I want to share that with you hope you see him it's actually kind of pretty Very, we get a lot of them around here I haven't seen much lately because his funny thing is how hot it's been I think but um, seems like it's cooling down a bit so they're coming they're coming out some okie dokie you a bad girl, Nari. Were you bad? Did you pee pee on the bed? Are you sulking back here now? You do not look guilty in the least. Oh, maybe you do. Maybe you do. Were you bad? Did you pee on the bed? Aini, are you protecting your sister? No. I'm gonna jump on the bed, Mama. Do we got clean bedding? Yay! Now you gotta lie on there and fur it all up, eh? Does it smell clean? It smells so clean. That nice. You gotta put fur on the bed now. What did your naughty sister do? What did your naughty sister do, huh? Hey, Aini. Was your sister naughty? Do you even care? Nope, I don't care one bit. I'm gonna lie here now. Ah, just so pretty, girl. Are you such a pretty girl? You such a pretty girl. I love you. Okay guys, so that was our excitement for the day. Not look. After what I was saying earlier as far as with Charles and operations and such, you know, life is so fragile and we gotta preserve ourselves. And we've got to love our friends. Shay Carl is the epitome of what it means to be a good friend. My dad used to always say, if at the end of your life you can say that you have had one good friend, a true friend, then you are a very, very wealthy person. Because we've got a lot of people who we call friends but they're acquaintances. And there's a difference between friends and acquaintances. A true friend is someone like Shay Carl, who will drop everything and fly across the continent to be with his buddy, Charles Trippy, who is going through brain surgery. He didn't just do it once. He didn't just do it today. He did this the last time that Charles had brain surgery as well. He flew across the country and he was there for him. 
that is the mark of a true friend. And I hope that at the end of all of our lives, we could say that if nothing else, we have had at least one true friend. So if you wanna have a friend who would do that for you, then be that person for someone else. And that's all I gotta say. Love your friends, love your family, hug everyone, put aside petty differences because life is way too short to be bickering and all that crap. It's not worth it. If someone is negative and unhealthy in your life, then you know you gotta move on. But for those who you consider to be friends and true friends, go the extra distance for them and for your family too. Because you know what? That's all you got in life, right? You can't take anything with you. But you can be someone who is true and loving and kind and giving and everything else to someone else. And even if you can't afford to fly halfway across the country or across the country or across the world, be there in other ways. That's all I gotta say today. So anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it, leave it at that and we love you guys, we really do, we appreciate you and please remember to like our videos, subscribe to our channel especially if you're new and this is the first time that you're landing on our page, do subscribe to our videos and share with your friends and um, that's it and we'll see you on the flip side. Love you guys. Bye. Now don't you forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it all with your friends. Till next time, hanging with the herds.